the string with the equal number of zeros or one? Is it true or not? Yes, it's true. Now, finite automata. Software for designing and checking the behavior of digital circuit. And then, lexical analyzer section. We need the finite automata for typical compute compilers and software for scanning large bodies of text. Those are some applications of finite automata. In this section, we have switches for on and off. If you are in the start position, you push, then you are in the on state, and again push, you will in the off state. Those circles are known as state, and those transactions are known as action. It begins from the starting section, and for each transaction, it will have to go in the new state. Now this is in the starting state and after T it will transact to this state then H then this one and then E then this section and after getting the N it will go to the final state or the destination that's how the then is declared in automata. Structure expressions here we have grammars and regular expressions those expressions what denotes those are marked with the red color in the blue section now we are getting into the formal proofs dedicated proofs in the section in from the given statement to conclusion state what we want to prove the logical proportion by the directed implementation for example in this state we have if y greater than or equals to 4 it is given and in conclusion we can say that 2 to the power y is greater than or equals to y square what that means there are other ways of writing the same equations Example of directive proof is given here. You must need to prove that this condition and this condition is for the directive proofs. In this section we have x equals to a plus b plus c plus d square and here we have given a, b and c and d all are greater than 1. If we have a square, b square, c square and d square that will be also greater than 1. Finally after adding them which is 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square and 1 square which is 4 so that's why x is greater than or equals to 4 and by that we can easily write 2 to the power x is greater than x square so that's how we prove the directive proof now we're on the theorem of lemas and corollaries here are some description about theorem Lima and corollaries. That's for now. Thank you.